I finally found out who essayed me. It was my brother all along. Me and my brother, whose name is Paul, have always been really close. I'm 18 and he is 23, but even with the age gap it's always been us. We'd never get called separately, it'd always be, go get the kids, or well, the kids want to do this, they want to do that. We were always together, even when I was a baby. He's my best friend, and I'd die for it. I say that so you don't think I just hate him, or I'm saying this just to say it. But on Saturday, he invited me to hang out with a couple of his friends. My 18th was Friday, and he's always wanted to be the one to take me to my first bar. We went out at around 7 p.m., and right when we got there they crowded me into a booth and we started drinking. I don't remember how much I had, and I don't remember when we left, but I know about 30 minutes in, things started to feel off. I was only on my first pint, but it felt like I'd had so much more and I've drank before, so I know how I should be responding by now and I was definitely more drunk than I'd usually be. We left sometime after, and I know I was brought back home somehow. I can remember being helped up the porch steps. I don't remember anything else until I woke up the next day, and it felt like I'd been hit by a bus. I spent the entire morning on the toilet, and it was almost impossible to walk. It hurt so badly. It wasn't until evening when I could leave my room. I asked my brother what had happened last night, and he said we'd been at the pub then went home. I pressed him for more and he got snippy, saying I shouldn't have gotten plastered if I wanted every detail. I told him I couldn't remember shit, and he said it was my fault, and not his problem. I don't know why he was so agitated, we usually go on stellar with each other. But he left soon after and didn't talk to me the rest of the day. On Tuesday I realized I had bruises. I was showering, and they either hadn't formed last time or I didn't notice them, but this was the first time I'd seen them. They were on my wrists, hips, and the side of my neck, and I wouldn't have jumped to the conclusion I'd slept with someone that night if there weren't hickeys. They're on my thighs and around my stomach. There's no doubt what they are. Naturally I freaked out. I thought about telling my mom, but she didn't want me to go out with my brother that night in the first place, so I didn't want her to get upset with me. I went to my brother instead. I told him about the bruises, and he was going to kick me out of his room again. Then I told him about the hickeys and he immediately changed his mind. He seemed like he was hiding something, he got nervous, and asked to see. I showed him the ones I could, and he agreed after some hesitancy on what they were. I asked him what happened Saturday night again, and he blew up. He yelled to stop asking about that night, and said this had nothing to do with the pub and I'd probably gone out and done it myself after he got me home. He told me not to tell mom about the bruises, and to stop treating him like he knew something, and to get out of his room. So I left and I told my mom. She didn't have much of a reaction. She didn't even seem surprised. She told me she was going to take my brother out on a drive and to stay home. They'd be back soon. They stayed out so late I fell asleep. I only saw my mom again in the morning. She woke me up and told me she loved me, she'd never let anyone hurt me, and she was sorry. I still don't know what she was apologizing for. I went to school, things were normal, but I didn't see my brother all day, and didn't know if things were normal or I had got him in trouble. I sat my mom and brother down this morning and told them that I know they know something I don't. I wanted to know what happened that night. My mom started crying. She never cries. She yelled that my brother had to tell me before storming off to her room and slamming the door. I immediately asked my brother what she meant, and he got very nervous and accusatory. He said that this was all my fault, and mom's upset because I had fucked up that night, and I should be thankful because my brother picked up the pieces like he always does. My family never acts like this. Definitely not my brother. I was so confused and I pressed him further. Then he started to tell me what happened. He said that my drink was spiked and I went to the toilets to puke. I was there for a while, and when he went to find me he said that, in way more vulgar terms, there was a bloke trying to get his way with me. He said he took me home and that was that. I told him I didn't believe him. Only he and his friends ever had access to my drinks, and there's no way that what happened to me could have been done in a pub toilet. The evidence doesn't match that. I started to cry, and I told him I just wanted the truth. He said that he told me the truth, and I could either take it or leave it. I'm not happy with myself for this, but I told him I hated it. He was supposed to be my best friend and he was lying about something like this for no reason. I'm definitely not happy with myself for this either, but I asked him if he was lying because it was one of his friends. He called me crazy, and said I didn't know what I was talking about. So I asked him if he did anything. I wanted to throw up just saying the words. That made him start to scream. He said I was an idiot, and how dare I accuse him of that. He said he would kick my fucking teeth and if I ever even suggested something like that again. He said if I wanted to sleep with him that bad I could just say that. I couldn't handle him saying that, so I left. I went to my room and locked the door. A few hours on and I got a text from an unknown number. It said it was one of my brother's friends, he knew about the fight, and he wanted to come clean with what he knew so I needed to call it. I did. And I really wish I hadn't. He started by saying he had no idea what had happened until my brother told him this morning, or else he would have told me sooner. My drink had been spiked by my brother. Apparently his friends just thought I was a lightweight so they weren't concerned when I seemed to be getting drunker faster than them. 
We all got a taxi home, and the rest of what he knows is just what my brother told him. I'm just going to copy paste the text because I don't think I could rewrite what he said without vomiting. So yeah, we had you guys drop off first and went home. Paul said he could take care of you himself so we didn't really think we had to stick around but in hindsight I really wish we had. I asked him if you were feeling alright Sunday and he said yeah everything's cool you were just a little hungover. But yeah he messaged me after you guys had your argument and told me what really happened, are you sure you want to know? Paul said he had s*** with you and he claimed to be insanely plastered but he seemed the most clear headed out of all of us that night. He said you didn't care what was happening so he thought it was alright but that just seemed sick in my mind. I'm sorry no one told you sooner. I don't think Shane knows what happened but Paul should have told you. I don't know if that's normal for you guys but either way it just seemed wrong because you were obviously drunk. Like losing consciousness from time to time. He said he gave you something else when you guys got home but he didn't tell me and I didn't ask. I haven't been able to do anything but just stare at the screen. I haven't left my room. I've been sick three times already. Whenever I hear my brother going down the hall I just feel so much dread. I don't know what to do. I don't know how he could have done this to me. I'm his fucking sister, we were supposed to be best friends. I trusted him, and I still do but I just don't know anymore. I'm so torn between what to feel about it. He's my family, but I hate what he's done. I don't think I could ever forgive it. I haven't been able to leave. I don't know if I should tell my mom because I think she already knows. I'm at such a loss. My family loves each other. We've always been insanely close. I just don't know what to do. On one hand I really do want to believe he was just drunk and didn't know what he was doing, but I just don't know. I'm going to talk to my brother tomorrow, show him the text from his friend and see if he'll just admit it. I'm going to the hospital soon, too, just in case there's anything that can still be done in that regard. People said to tell his girlfriend, I'll figure out a way to reach her. I don't think he really loves her anyways. If anyone wants any other updates I will give them, but if not this is where the story's in for now. It's late. I'm tired. I regret ever posting here.